guys, welcome to this webisode. Now, uh, we had the first part of our series where we talked about why your internet sucks. And I promised you guys I'll give you a rundown on how to select your router. So that's part two. Now, part two is where we talk about what would you go about doing if you want to change your router. I'm sure many of you have encountered the scene before where you walked into an IT mall and you were just overwhelmed. So if you have one of these routers, which means you've subscribed to Unify recently, or you've actually called them and say, look, my internet is bad and they've come and they replaced this router for you. Uh, well, then congratulations, you've got a very decent router. This is an AC1200 router. Basic rule of thumb that I would like to share with you guys. So if there are only two of you staying in the house, you would probably have somewhere between five to eight devices. This actually will suffice. An AC1200 router, which in this case, this is the D-Link 850, which was provided by TM's Unify, as well as Time, uh, is going to be sufficient if you're just going to have one or two regular streaming uh, and web browsing, Facebook, and a couple of games. So two things determine what type of routers you should get. First, the number of devices you have at home. Second, the type of applications you're using to connect to the internet. So let's take a look at this AC1200 new MIMO router. How is this going to be different from this? Both are AC1200. However, this new DIR842, uh, yes, you can mount it on the wall because there are some wall mounting brackets uh, holders here, is Wave 2 Mu Mimo. It is the latest in Wi-Fi standards. What it does is, if you have devices that support Mu Mimo, it will have minimal drop in speeds the more devices uh, as you connect more devices. However, if you have something like this, then no, you won't get a minimal drop. You actually do get quite a substantial drop in speeds. So if you're connecting um, devices that are older and are not new MIMO compatible, then you will get a drop in performance the more devices you connect. All right, so how is this an improvement over this? So if you have new MIMO devices, you're not gonna get that drop off. One of the things I do like is uh, D-Link has changed their design language a bit. Uh, it does look really cool. The only thing is, it's a very light router. Uh, so D-Link has launched this, and I think it's a worthy replacement of the AC1200 in the DIR850 if you don't want to spend a bundle. This thing costs you about 300 ringgit. So in US dollars, it'll be about 70 US dollars or so, 70, 80 US dollars or so. so what would you miss out? There is one thing that's gonna be missing from this and that is the USB port. It's not available on this. So there is no USB port on the DIR842. There is one, however, on the 850. What is the difference then? What would you use the USB port for? The USB port is predominantly used for uh, networking printers or plugging in a hard drive. So if you haven't plugged in a hard drive or you haven't plugged in a printer, then you probably wouldn't miss it, All right? I did find that the range on the 842 was actually better in the 2.4 compared to this. Back to Wi-Fi technology. So you have a 1200, you do have 19, and then you have 32 and 5400. So what do all those numbers mean? In summary, they actually mean the combined bandwidth of all the bands in the router. So if you have an N device connecting to your 5 gigahertz, even though you have an AC device, that speed's gonna throttle down. That's where tri-bands come in. And so what will happen is your faster AC devices will connect on the separate 5 gigahertz band and your N devices normally will connect on the earlier 5 gigahertz band. So how do you do this with the rule of thumb again? So you have anywhere between five to seven devices up to AC1200 would be suitable. Then you have between eight and 15 devices, AC1900 and 2600 would be the choice to go. And if you have somewhere between 15, 20, a tri-band system 
would be advisable. And above that, you gotta get this big chunky monkey. All right, AC5400 routers. We'll be doing a separate review for all these routers, except for this uh, DIR842, which I did find to be very, very good as a replacement for the DIR850. So if you don't wanna spend a bundle, it's 300 bucks. You can buy that and replace the router that you have at home. You probably get a 15 to 20% bump up in performance. Does this mean it will resolve all your internet problems? The, the answer is actually no, it doesn't. It just helps you solve some of it. Remember, Malaysians tend to live in very big houses. Now, if you live in a very big house, no matter how big your router is, it's not gonna be able to cover the entire house in Wi-Fi. There, for we have things like range extenders, which look like this, or the latest in technology is what we have here called wireless mesh. Watch for that in the upcoming video. So we have some mesh systems here. Uh, the latest wireless, whole home wireless system. This is developed by Linksys. And then we have the Orbi by Netgear. And last but not least, uh, new release from Asus, the Lyra. We will be doing that in an upcoming video. And you guys, if you have any questions or you have any comments, please pop it down below. I'll be happy to answer them for you. Cheers.